Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Vidoran Gardens, which is a new little card game in the same universe as the City of Kings would play as the Vidorans, which is one of the races from that game. It's a very, very different game though. It's on Kickstarter right now, along with a reprint of the City of Kings, and you can go and check that out by clicking the link in the description. I always forget, so we've got to have an awkward freeze frame here, but this is a prototype just to let you know, so none of this is final components, uh, although it's looking very nice. The, you know, the meeples are hand-painted and stuff, and the the lost items and things you can see the representative artwork of the final thing on the campaign page as always i recommend you turn on klingon subtitles and if i've made any mistakes hopefully they'll be noted up there so i'm playing a two-player game of this today against little glass marty we each start off with three pathway cards because the aim of the game is to forge paths through the Vidoran gardens we will be trying to study in them and uh, tend to the gardens themselves and things uh, but we will essentially be playing these cards around 10 usually more rounds may get added by the random pathway cards we get a little display here it's based on the number of players there's two plus the number of players as your options for future rounds and these are lesson cards which will restrict the cards we're allowed to play round by round so to start the game off, we need to put one of our player markers each on some cards in the active row, which is the top row to start the game in. I think, based on the achievements that are out here, they want us to have specific icons. These are the, the little pictures in each kind of area. Uh, for the brown, which is turning to the plants, we want two different areas with two identical symbols in there, but they have to be different identical symbols in each of the areas. This one wants us to have one blue area with four different icons in it, and this wants us to have a green area with three different icons in. And the sooner you can complete the achievement, the more points that you'll get for it. I think to start the game, I would like this one, because in my starting hand of three, I've already got a brown card with this symbol on. So if I can play this first, and then next time play this one, then that would be uh, that would be an area with two of the same icon in. So I'm halfway to completing the achievement already if I grab this card. There is something to think about as well. In this first round, we have to play a card that matches one of the lesson symbols that's on display here. We can see what it's going to be. And so I would need to play a card with a red or blue icon at the top. This is a red, so I could start with that one if I want to, but this one from my starting hand is a red or a blue as well. So you could only not play one if it only had green on it this round. Marty is going to start off with this one, I think, because this would be a good start for the greens. He's got a nice green one here that can carry on, because you want consecutive areas, really, across these cards. You get a better idea when we've started laying any of the cards down. Anyway, so the person who actually takes the first turn in the game is the person whose marker is furthest to the left, so that's going to be me. The first thing you do is take the card that you claimed into your hand. Now we need to play a card based on the lesson that's out, so as I said, it needs to have a red or a blue symbol at the top. So we were starting with this one, I think, if I remember right. So that is going in my pathway. The rules for placements at the start of the game, <laughs> there aren't many rules, it's just that you have to, you can't rotate it. You have to have the lessons at the top there, unless you're told otherwise. Then we would collect lost items. For example, if I'd played this, this is a lost item I would have found. I wouldn't have found a home for it yet, so it wouldn't be worth any points, but I could grab myself a lost item. So then we would claim completed achievements. If I'd done any, I haven't done any this soon. And then I have to choose a pathway card for next time. And I can see that next round, the card that we need to play can be any symbol, but we're gonna to have to rotate it. We're gonna to have to play it upside down, which might mess with my plans. No, it doesn't, I can still do this and it will be one area here. Yeah, I think that's okay. Because what we're trying to do is build up, the, the main thing of the game is we are trying to build up areas with three icons in it. It doesn't matter if they're the same or different for the general scoring. Once you have done that, as, as soon as you've got three in there, the area is worth as many points as the number of squares in that area. So I don't think there's particularly anything that helps me with another brown area. So I think, I can see Marty's having a green there. Maybe he's going for brown, maybe he's going for green. I'm gonna grab this one because this has got, you know, another of the same animal on and I don't really know what I want yet. Okay, and that's my first turn. Marty goes, so he grabs this into his hand. And I think he was starting with this card, wasn't he? If I remember his plan properly, so he's gonna play that. 
He doesn't claim anything right now for playing that card down, but he picks for next turn, so he can't have that one because I've put my marker on there. His plan is to put this one down. It doesn't matter that he needs to play it upside down. But that would have been perfect. That would have been his third of the same picture because you know I didn't know he had this in his hand. So he could work on another animal. He would have a spot there. If he got a lost item in the future, he would have somewhere to put it and get five points at the end of the game. Yeah, and this continues the green area, so I think he's going to he's gonna claim this. And he gets to go first, so he might get a choice of claiming something he really wants next turn. Okay, everyone's had a turn, so the round's over. We reveal a new lesson card and place it over this one. So only green is going to be able to be played in this round. We slide everything along and then fill the row back up. So you can kind of be planning ahead of, oh, you know, I, I hope this one's still available, and then the next turn I'll try and claim that one. Okay, so this turn, Marty's going first. He claims... His card there puts it into his hand. Whatever he plays has to go upside down. He could play this one. So, so we'll talk about some placement rules now that we're placing another card. You have to have this card overlap the previous card in some way. And your total number of rows can be maximum five. So placing like this is okay. That's one, two, three, four, five rows. In fact, in the second turn, you can't have it any bigger than that if you're overlapping, can you? But in the future, I couldn't place anything lower than this. That's the lowest I could go. I could go high up again, but any lower, and that would be six rows, so that would be too much. So if Marty wanted to sacrifice that little critter, he could claim this card for next time, play that on there, and now he would have an area. It wouldn't be as big, but it would have three of the same animal in it. Or if he waits, he can you know, play this one and it would be a much bigger area worth more points in itself. But I think he's gonna, just going to race for the achievement right now. He can always extend that area that he makes as well. So he's going to cover up one of his little, lovely little animals. Because he's got to play this card upside down, remember. So that's covered up. That's all fine. He doesn't claim anything new. And he needs to pick a card for the next round. And we've already decided he's having this one which is good as well because it's green, which I was definitely thinking about. It's green and you can only play green next round. My turn, claim my card. And what was I playing? I've been thinking so much about what Marty was doing. I want two identical symbols, now I am brown, and then finish the area. So, here we go. So the blue isn't going to score anyway. It doesn't matter that I'm covering that up because that's only got one icon. You need three of the icons to be able to score. So I can cover that up like that, no problem. I'm making the brown one smaller, so I could do this, actually. Because then the, the, brown's just a, the brown is one square bigger, I'm not covering it up as much. Although I can't go any higher next round. So now, I don't get anything extra. This is going to score at the end of the game because it's got three symbols in it. Remember, they don't need to be the same or different or anything for the basic scoring. And it's got two identical ones in for the achievement, so I need a different brown area now with two different identical icons. So for next round, I have to be thinking about, I could keep extending this brown one for it to be worth, you know, a point per square, but I probably want to start on something else now because I need two different brown areas to be able to score the achievement. They can't be, you know, two identical sets in the same area. So I can only play a green as well. So this is out, I can't play that next round. This doesn't get me very much. Sand, by the way, is absolutely nothing. That's just uh, that's just getting in the way. I could start on something green, maybe, since I claimed this. So I want three identical in green. So I could play this next turn. It would extend my brown one more, but then I'm starting a nice new green area to maybe do something with. Otherwise, you know, I can't play that one if I claim it, or that one. I could play that one. And this would lead in nicely if I decided to start a, a, a brown area, another brown area. This is seven points, if that's uncovered and part of a scoring area at the end of the game. So I think I'm going to go for that one. And I'll be first choice. So it's the end of the round. We revealed the new lesson card. It's only blue on that round. Slide these along. And two new ones come out. So it's going to be me first this round. Grab my card and put it into my hand. I have got this as well, so I could have two of the same right away. So let's let's put this out. We were doing this, weren't we, to make 
brown. Oh, I need to play this upside down. Now that will have been noted up, but it's it's not a mistake, is it? If I fixed it, okay. It's yeah, it doesn't really make it much difference. So there we go. Uh, yes, I don't get anything extra. There are no lost animals or anything on that. I don't complete any achievements just yet, but I need to pick what I'm having next round now. That little guy isn't on any of these cards. I could maybe claim this one for the future because that gives me two different options of, oh, actually, I don't want that one because I've already had that identical pair and I need a different identical pair. I've got one red here. They just don't really, see, if I overlap, they wouldn't be the same area. Same for the, oh, that would be the same. Oh, they would go the other way around there. Yeah, you can't really make those ones connect. I think I am going to grab that one because it might make me just, you know, extend the green area a bit more. But I do, I am definitely going last that round. Marty, he grabs this one. And he was just playing it, wasn't he? He wanted to continue his green area. So he's doing that. He's got two destinations. If he can find some... Uh, some lost animals in the gardens here. We haven't seen any yet though, so I have to be on the lookout to those as well to try and deny them from Marty maybe. So claim all completed achievements, he can take one of his player markers now. He's got three identical icons in, a gr in one green area, so he can claim this and he's got 10 points for the end of the game. And he probably wants to move on next round to a different colour. Now this would be nice because he could start a nice big blue area with that. I think he's going to grab this one because I think he's going to go for blue next. And this could start it off with a nice big seven points. And he'd be able to play it because he's got the blue icon on it. Okay, so that's it. Yes. New lesson card. So we can only play red for that round. And we get two new pathway cards. Okay, Marty's first in this round. So he claims this and puts it in his hand. So next round he needs to play a red. And he needs to play a blue this round so he can play this or this. I think he's changing his plan. Oh wow, yeah. He's definitely changing his plan because I've just noticed he's gonna ignore these seven points, save this for later, I think. He's, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. He's playing a card, he's gonna play this one. He would like to, you know, it would be really nice if he could have extended that blue area, but I don't think he can. He also can't play like that because that is one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So he is just, oh, he can, he can make sure that green area stays the same size. Ah, but with the card he's gonna take, yeah, we're gonna have to make it low. We're gonna have to cut off that area a little bit because the card he's gonna claim is this one because it's got red, he'll be able to play it. He does have a red card. Like both of these are reds, but they're, neither of them are very good at extending this blue area. This one, on the other hand, which is the one he's claiming, where he'll be able to extend it easily. This is why he needed to put the card low down so that he could play it like this and extend the area because that's his maximum height. So yeah, next round he's hoping to take this because then that's three different symbols towards the four that we want for the achievement. And it's got a lost little critter on there. So he's gonna get himself a little token that he'll get to put on one of these for five points at the end of the game. And it doesn't matter if that symbol's still visible. So my turn, I'm gonna grab this. I can't play it though, I can play any of the other cards. So I'd started a nice green area. I need to play a card with blue on it. I think I'm gonna play this one. And I might just be making an enormous green area waiting for three of a kind animals. I think next turn I need to play a red. I'm gonna play this one. And just keep it going and going and going. At the very least, it's going to be worth a point per square at the end of the game. I could start planning towards my next brown area for the future. Grab this one. And then I get first pick next round. So I've got two things there that I could hopefully make a pair out of in the future. Because I've already done this one here. Okay, so new lesson card comes out. So red or blue. And get two new pathway cards. I'm first for the new round, so I grab this. I don't want to play that one though, do I? I want to play, it has to be red. So either of these. This could be the start of a, of a brown area. And I'd match the reds maybe. But there are no reds coming up. Oh, I should, as soon as I place this, I get myself a little blue pendant. 
that if I can find somewhere for it by the end of the game, like this, then I can get five points. So the card to play is going to be this one. It doesn't matter that I'm covering that up. I have already had the token. No animals have come out that really help me. Or even let me carry on this green area very well. I could carry it on with this next round. I need to play with something with red or blue in it. I think I would like... I think I would like this card because then I, at some point in the future, can hopefully play these together. Then I've got a nice pair and can you know, claim that brown achievement. So that's the card I'm having. There we go. Done. That is how my garden is progressing at the moment. Marty grabs this. What was he doing? He was going for blue, wasn't he? Yeah, his plan was to play that one. can play it because it's red. Gets himself a nice little lost item and can put it on here for five points. Oh no, with the cards that have come out, Marty is not going to be able to get four different blues in it because, yeah, he needs, he needed something like that. That would be perfect. If this was on the other row, that would cover that up and he would still have four different in it. At the moment, the best he can do is play this one but it would cover this one up and it's still only got three different symbols in it. There are no nice blue areas going all the way along. You know, you can't, you can never completely plan for what's gonna come out. So knowing what's come out, does he want to play that anymore? He could play a different card. Now he could play this and then he's kind of set up, or he's not set up because he would have to cover up one of the plants. So this would be really nice. He would have, you know, a pair for one of his brown areas. This brown area would score. Trouble is, it goes too low. You can only have five rows. Like he does want to play this anyway, doesn't he? So he can get the green icon. And at least this blue area is going to score something. So what card does he want? I think he wants this one. Yeah. Okay. That's the round, isn't it? New card comes out. So this one, when this round rolls around, we will be playing two cards overlapped like this. Or like like this. Two new pathway cards. So Marty's after that, he's got another space for another uh, blue relic. Okay, so it's me first. What was I doing? I think I was just desperately trying to keep the, the animals going, but I'm not having any luck with the card draws, unfortunately. So do I persevere? Here we go. How many have I played? One, two, three, four, five. This is round six out of ten. Potentially more could get added. There are lesson cards that add another round. But yeah, this is this is more than halfway. Am I just going to accept one point per square and just try until it happens? Or am I going to just give up? I think I'm going to just give up. We're going to go for a brown area. Yes, I can play that because it's red and the lesson is red or blue. Next round, I want somewhere for that blue relic to go, maybe. So I'm going to be playing this next round. Oh, but I need to play two cards next round, overlapping each other. Hmm. I think I'm going to grab this one and maybe make a star on my blue. It depends what comes out here, though, because one of the cards I want to play is red. Mind you, I'm going to get to play any symbol. And the two cards I play can be any symbol next round. So yeah, we'll go for that. Marty grabs this. It needs to be red or blue, so he can't play this one. He was going for brown, wasn't he? He hasn't got anything that matches just yet. He can play this like this, and then he isn't destroying the blue area from scoring. He's made the brown one a bit bigger, and he can still play this one in a future round. Oh, but he can't play it in a future round because... He's going to have to play two cards overlapping next round. And these don't work for getting a pair of... Oh, these lesson cards are getting right in the way as they're supposed to. So maybe he wants to save this. Anything he plays, though, he's just going to destroy that for no reason. Yeah, he's going to play this, and then we'll just have to think about what to do in a future round. So I don't know if he can get two symbols to match, but he can, he can make a brown area at least. I think he's going to grab this because at the very least it would get him another lost item to play. So next round, ah, so this means we can just play anything when this round rolls along, but we're gonna add a card to the lesson pile, so it's gonna be 11 rounds rather than 10. 
So flip these over. And for the new round, it's me. So I can play anything, but we have to play them like this. So overlapping two cards like that. So my plan was to do something with brown cards, I think. So I want this so it will make my other pair. I could be overlapping it with this blue. To make a nice blue. I could continue it with that one, maybe. Yeah, let's let's have this low down. So I can play it like this. Is that okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. I'm gonna have to move it up a bit. Not not the end of the world. There we go. So that's played. That is another pair. It's a different pair to this one, and it's in a different area. So I can claim myself an achievement. There we go. And what do I want next round? I want this one. Marty grabs this, and I don't remember what Marty was doing. He was having his plans ruined, wasn't he? Yeah, just the way the cards and the lessons have come out, they have foiled his plan for a, bra a nice... Uh, a nice plant area, but if he played them like this, he could maybe start a green area, which he's not particularly interested in, but it could he could do something like that, have a nice little scoring area and have another five points. I think he's gonna do that. He's gonna play them like this. So the, the brown areas continued a bit. We're gonna have to move them along a little bit, aren't we? Okay, what does he want for next round? He wants something to continue the green maybe? I think he's got something that will finish the green. He could maybe continue this brown onto something else. Yeah, I'll grab this one. He doesn't know what he needs to play yet. Okay, so new round. Let's let's add another card to the lesson deck while I'm thinking about it. So this lesson's gonna be that one. Slide these across. Over here and Marty's first, okay. So he's playing this one, isn't he? Doesn't matter what symbol he plays because that card just meant we added another round. He's got a fairly big uh, green area now that's gonna score. Oh, he needs another little lost item, doesn't he? So that can go on there. He's got a space for it. It's gonna be worth five points. And he needs to play a green or blue. Oh, he does have this card. I had it face down from a previous round when he wasn't allowed to play green. Oh, so this is, this is better, isn't it? Yeah, because even if he plays this next round, he's got a much bigger green area now. So maybe he's gonna want to, this gives him two brown flowers. Maybe there's time to do that still, maybe. Oh, so we're not picking off that row though. So <laughs> what I'm thinking is irrelevant. He will go for, Maybe this one? If you can play this low, then that's a chance at making a nice, uh, a nice big blue area if some decent cards come out for it. Okay, so he's doing that. I'm grabbing this card. Am I playing it? I think I am, yes. I'm playing it there, which is right at the top of my limit. And unfortunately, maybe intentionally, Marty has claimed the perfect card for me that would have been two different symbols that I needed. So I could just keep it going. I could go for green, three different greens. Yes, I'm gonna grab this because that's two towards the three you need to start it scoring. And that is one, two, three of the same animal. Hopefully I can pull that off. Okay, the round's done. New lesson card. Oh, it's another one of those play two uh, overlapping each other. So we're running out of options. We're running out of cards in our hand because we're only getting one new per turn and we're having to play extra. So I don't get to look at what that is. New pathway cards. Marty is going to be first. Grabs this. What was he doing? He's making a big green area for some reason. Oh, and he was hoping to leverage this into maybe a blue area, wasn't he? So he's going to play them like like that. Yeah, unfortunately, the blue that he can claim is going to cover up one of his symbols, so he's still gonna only have three. And there's no new symbol there, and that's gonna be the last round, I think. 
Yeah, we're going to reveal a new lesson card and refill this row. So maybe stuff's going to come out. So yeah, he maybe wants to leave his options open and be able to have that blue area with four different symbols, maybe. Me, I'm claiming this. What am I doing with it? I am making an animal area, aren't I? So overlap like this, reaching the end of the table and nothing extra happens. What do I want? I'm going to be playing this one to finish that area off nicely, I think. So I'll have three of the same animal in it. And then I have, I can start a brown area maybe. I'm gonna be playing two cards though, next round. I think I'm gonna grab this one. Maybe I can do a brown or I'll just keep making this green area bigger, who knows? Yeah, let's reveal the last lesson card. It's green and blue and these last two extra ones, I think maybe Marty can pull the blue area off, but he's going second now. So we need to, for this last, it's not the last round, second to last round. Yeah, second to last round. We, we need to play cards so that they're overlapping each other again. So I could play like this. And just have that as the last card. I think that makes it too low though if I was trying to do that. I could play like this and then I'm starting a brown area maybe for the end. I could grab this as my last card and then it's made the green area a bit bigger and scorable. And I would get a brown shovel, yep, for one of these spaces that's going to be five points. Yep, we'll claim that and we will play this right on the end. We don't want to cover him up. Ah, but the green area, if we're playing it this low down, the green area I can't place because it would make it would have to match up with this green area here to be any good and it would go too low. So I could make a brown area of five points or I can just get this symbol that's five points. I don't think I can do anything better than that. Yeah, I don't think it makes any difference. Yeah, we'll just carry on with what we're doing. I think, wasn't that the card Marty really needed for blues? <laughs> I'm kind of accidentally doing it, but messing him up. I have done that anyway. Three of the same animal in a green area. Yes. Marty grabs this. So what was he doing? He's messed himself up anyway. <laughs> yeah, he can't carry on the, the, the blue area with what he's grabbed for himself, so. What can we have him do? I think he could just play anything because I don't think any of this helps him now. He could just play anything and have this seven here. Ah, oh, but no, then he wouldn't be able to make a blue area in time with three symbols in it. He can just keep making this blue area bigger and it's going to score a point per square, isn't it? Oh, he can't do that. We've already discussed this. Since this is in the middle as well, Something is going to have to cover up that symbol and completely stop this blue area from scoring. Oh no, I've done a bad job. So we're going to just ruin this, I think. And then the last card's going to be this blue to, <laughs> to make a blue area that can score. That's not Marty's thing. Yeah. Okay, so we haven't got a lesson card to reveal, so we don't refill this pathway because it's the last round. Marty is just going to place this here and have a sad little, uh, we'll try and twist this so it's different to my path. Uh, yeah, he, at least he's got a little blue area that scores there at the end. I've got this and I'm not doing anything but placing this at the end and it's going to get me a nice little relic there that I can put on there for five points for the end of the game. And that is it. So scoring. First of all, we look at areas that score. Remember, they need three symbols in there to be able to score, and they are worth one point per square of the scoring area. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because that's got four symbols in it. This has got three symbols in it at least, so that was nine, wasn't it? Three, six, nine, yep. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This has got three. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. This has got three, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 
36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and then no more areas that score. Relics, I got one, so that's five points. 47, 57, 64. I don't think I did as well for Marty. Okay, so no three symbols. This one's got three symbols. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 41, 51. So yeah, you can tell who I was uh, giving more care to, but I think, yeah, some of the lessons and things got in the way of what Marty was doing, but I just, uh, just managed to get the win there. Anyway. If you like to know more about the game, remember you can click the campaign page to see all of the final components, the stretch goals, there's a planned campaign mode for this, there's beautiful things coming. Anyway, uh, if you'd like to know what I think, you can click the link on here. But thanks very much for watching everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.